In this video, I wanna talk about the reality of bass fishing and what it actually looks like. Because I think that there's a little bit of a misconception at times. When you watch a lot of Bassmaster television or Major League Fishing or even you know edited YouTube videos, you don't always see the true struggle that is involved when it comes to bass fishing. And in today's video, I wanna talk about just the reality of what it looks like. Now, before I get in the video, this video is brought to you by my apparel company, Finn Fishing. I am running a sale for just the rest of March, 2024. If you buy one of my USA made sun shirts, you can get a bass hat with a wooden bass badge on it for 50% off. It is the best way to help support this channel. All you gotta do is add the shirt you like to cart, add the hat that you like to cart. It will automatically discount at checkout and I really, really appreciate it. <clears throat> All right, let's talk about, like I said, the reality of bass fishing. And the reason that I decided to even talk about this today is because you may notice I'm a little burnt here, sunburnt and windburnt, but I just got off the water today. And I filmed a video for the Bass Fishing HQ channel. It's one of the lake break videos, something that I started last year that a lot of guys have really, really loved. And I'm just gonna let you know a little bit of a spoiler, spoiler alert, but not really at the same time. But it took me all day long. I fished for seven hours, a little under seven hours. It took me all seven hours today to catch five keeper bass on a lake that I've actually been to one other time, never during the pre-spawn time of the year, but I have been here in the fall. And it took me all day. I decided to, I started like right around nine o'clock today. I ended the day at four o'clock. I caught my last fish, my last keeper, my fifth keeper at 3.57. It took me all day to catch those five bass. I think I caught two short fish besides that. But in my mind, a lot of, while I was out there fishing, like, because I sat on four fish for quite a long time, I was just thinking a little bit about just the recent Bassmaster tournaments that we've seen, you know, them on Toledo Bend, them on Lake Fork, you know, not only these world-class fisheries, but also something that you really have to take in consideration when kind of comparing your days to what you may see on TV or even on YouTube is that in a typical professional tournament, these guys have two or three days to try and locate bass for the tournament day. And I'm not just talking about like a six or seven hour day. A lot of these guys are going to spend the entire day. I mean, from sun up to sundown out there on the water. And so this can be 10, 12, 13, 14, 15 hours, sometimes up in the north later in the summer. And so it's, it's just crazy to me that you will still have the best anglers in the world that go three days, 14 hour days, and then they come to the weigh-in on the first day of the tournament and they have two fish, then they have three fish. But that's not the angler that we typically see. We see the angler that figured out the body of water the best. Out of all the professional anglers, we typically see the top six guys, the top eight guys, the top 10 guys. And we see the guys that figured it out the best and so it's very easy for us as anglers to just compare our days to what we see on tv at times and you just have to keep the context in your mind that these guys have spent a lot of time on this body of water and they are trying and and some of them we only see the ones that have figured it out the best now on the flip side of things there's obviously days where we do go out and we crush them you know, where we go out and we catch a lot of fish and we catch a lot of big fish and it's just an absolutely great day. And I think that we should never take those for granted. But the other thing that I want to talk about is also sometimes we see, you know, weights on paper or weights on, you know, the screen that look really good. And you don't realize that it kind of like my day today, it took a guy all day to do that. We see a lot of times where guys, we saw this a lot at Lake Fork, you know, guys were catching 25, 27, 30 pound bags. And it looks great. And like you probably think, oh my gosh, you crushed them. But in reality, it took them all day to catch those five bass that weighed 30 pounds. So yeah, they were big fish, but it still took them all day. So what I'm trying to get out here is that I just really want you guys to understand 
the reality of bass fishing so that when you go out there on the water you don't get disheartened if you have a bad day we all have bad days if the best anglers in the world can go three practice days and then fish a tournament day and not even catch a limit in that tournament day and they're the best in the world then it's absolutely okay if we go out from time to time and struggle. And I think it's just a really important reminder to just stay motivated. Stay stay motivated all the time. The other thing that I think is important to do is that, or the other thing that's really important to know is that bass fishing tournament days or just in general, things can happen so quick so quick there have been so many days when i'm out there on the water and i catch one or two fish in like a four hour period like uh, an extremely long time passes and i've caught barely anything but then all of a sudden there's that one magical hour maybe i maybe i find just that right grass patch or maybe i just find that one you know lay down that has a stack of fish on it or maybe i find a school of fish maybe i spend the entire day idling and and i'm not catching anything or seeing anything and then i find that one spot where i make five casts in a row and catch five big bass like that happens so often in bass fishing and i say that to again motivate you so that when you're out there in the water and you've gone a couple of hours and you're not getting any bites and you're not getting any clues to just keep your head up because those days happen way more often than the days where we go out and absolutely crush the bass you know and there's 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 something that i learned from um what's his name kyle welcher the angler of the year uh, from last year. Kyle Welcher was the best angler in over the course of the entire year last year on the Bassmaster Elite Series. I did an interview with Kyle on my podcast, the Bass Juice Podcast, and I talked specifically about him and I said, you know, when you have a, a period of time that goes by, what do you do? Like, because those are the times where a lot of anglers, they're done. They're done with their day because they've already in their mind said, I'm not going to be able to catch them today. Or I'm not going to catch them today. And I asked him, what does he do? And he's like, first of all, he said that those still happen to him as a professional angler, which is great to know. But the other thing that he said, he said, I just tried to go get one bite. So he says he's going to go to the area that he feels the most confidence that he can just go get one bite and he's going to fish a lure that just gets bit. Something like a drop shot or a shaky head. Something that's very, very simple. And so it's just really important to remember these things when you're out there and you're struggling. Today, I feel like even though I struggled I just kept telling myself, I'm going to catch them. I'm going to catch them. And I never really caught them good. But you know what? I did come away with five keeper bass on a lake that I've never been to in the pre-spawn at all. And so I can hang my hat on that. I can be pretty happy. I definitely learned something today. And at the end of the day, that is the most important. So if you guys enjoyed this video, I just want to tell you a little bit more about the reality of fishing and what it really looks like. If you guys want to watch my most recent video, you can click it here. Also, click down below in the subscription to help support fin fishing. Thanks, guys. I will see you tomorrow.